R-Truth is one of the few superstars to make a career out of being a comedy act in WWE. He has given fans countless hilarious moments, and he's been doing overtime since WWE introduced the 24-7th Championship. Let's take a look at 10 of the funniest moments in R-Truth's career. Royal Rumble Confusion If there's one thing about R-Truth's WWE character that defines him, it's confusion. The man is perpetually confused about almost everything. Sometimes it's just something simple like mixing up words. Other times, the confusion is a bit bigger than that. During the Royal Rumble in 2016, R-Truth's music hit as the next entrant. He came tearing down to the ring, pulled a ladder out from underneath it, and tried to retrieve the non-existent NITB briefcase. Fans, announcers, and superstars were all confused. Xavier Woods in particular was left convulsing with laughter outside the ring. The superstars and fans were disbelief how funny that moment was at that time. Crashing Maverick's Honeymoon R-Truth's rivalry with Drake Maverick over the WWE 24-7th Championship has produced some hilarious moments that left the WWE Universe in stitches. Maverick and Truth traded victories with the latter going to any extent to get the title back. After crashing Maverick's wedding, R-Truth went one step further by barging in during Maverick's honeymoon. Just before Maverick was about to consummate his wedding with his wife, R-Truth invaded their hotel room and pinned Maverick on the bed to win back the 24-7th championship. No! I got my baby back. No! This one's on me, my bad. R-Truth started acting more like a confused person around the time the 2015 Money in the Bank PPV was set to happen. While the contestants of the match were addressing the WWE Universe on an episode of Raw, R-Truth came out and joined the mix. R-Truth came out to the stage and started talking about what he would do in the MITB ladder match. The truth dawned on him after Kane told him that he's not even in the match. R-Truth gave a confused reaction before hilariously saying, my bad, and walked away. Wait, 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 money wait, in the wait, 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 you're not even in the match! This is on me. Kane, my bad. <laughs> New Orleans. The condo that AJ Styles built. Some of R Truth's funniest work as of late has been on Raw Talk, WWE's post show for their long running Monday night program. The current iteration of the show is co hosted by Charlie Caruso and R Truth. It's not difficult to imagine how quickly things go off the rails with R Truth even remotely in charge of an interview. This time, AJ Styles got caught in R Truth's web of ridiculousness. AJ has always brought up his catchphrase, a house that AJ style built. R-Truth then proceeded to ask if he also built condos and other structures. Quite understandably, AJ could barely contain his laughter. Build the SmackDown house. It's the house that AJ Styles built, but it doesn't mean I actually built it by hand. Dog, I'm gonna ask you for a card or something. Oh. That's disappointing, man. You disappointing it's just a figure. Truth TV with Daniel Bryan. The best run of R-Truth's long career was alongside Carmella. Their association started as a part of Season 2 of Mixed Match Challenge. Carmella and Truth had such obvious chemistry that the company kept them together for an extended period. Splitting them up remains one of the biggest mistakes WWE has made. When Miz TV became Truth TV, the dynamic duo's first guest was Daniel Bryan. One of the greatest wrestlers to ever step through the ropes was left flustered and laughing at their antics. R-Truth and Carmella taking a dance break particularly caught him off guard. You guys have dance breaks on the show! R-Truth <laughs> breaks Brock Lesnar Brock Lesnar isn't exactly known for being a fun-loving guy in the ring, but every once in a while he lets another side of himself show. Paul Heyman helped this along by reputedly betting that truth he couldn't make Lesnar break. R-Truth proceeded to interrupt one of their in-ring promo segments to declare that he was going to beat Paul Heyman in the Royal Rumble match. Heyman corrected him by pointing out that Lesnar was entering the Royal Rumble, not Heyman. Truth immediately withdrew from the match, leaving Lesnar laughing uncontrollably. Flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman! I'm not in the Royal Rumble match! My bad! To Sioux Falls City! Suplex City! The Judgment Day opened this week's episode of Raw, as they mostly have in the past year. They all addressed different things, but it was R-Truth who came out and asked about his initiation last week, which was essentially the Judgment Day beating him down. R-Truth calls Priest DP and says he knows he didn't mean it when he said he didn't like him. I saw it in your eyes. So what are your thoughts on R-Truth's funniest moments? Let us know in the comments section below. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.